Hello, this is Malorian, and this is going to be my first game of the Onslaught Tournament 2011. So the first thing I want to say is that when I was looking at the way that this tournament was arranged, I was really surprised because in order to get a win, you had to get double the victory points of your opponents. And to get a massacre, you have to get triple. So I think it's mainly because uh, the tournament organizer isn't really used to fantasy. And uh, I was kind of, in a way, you know, kind of mocking it that, oh man, you're going to see a lot of draws. But anyway, let's take a look at this first game. So I pulled up against Wood Elves, and the game is basically, you know, the deployment is the one way where it's this diagonal cut. But the way that this actually works is, of course, victory points. But then at the end of the game, if you control or have a unit that's above 25% starting strength in every single table quarter, you get an extra 500 points. So kind of a board control thing at the same time. Uh, anyway, he had a couple of things that start in reserve. Uh, one of them is that tree man, so pretend it's not there. But what he's starting on here with is he has his, his dragon lord, he has four tree kin, he has a big horde of glade guard, and in there he has his uh, level four. He also has the, the dryads, and he has the eagle on the far side, and he also has some scouting, scouting uh, glade guard there as well. Uh, for me, I have my RR boys that started. The, the orcs, my savage orcs, the the other uh, big group of orcs there to have my BSB and my uh, war boss there, chariots, I have my black orcs, and then I also have a far chariot in the bottom right corner that you can't see to keep the scouts away. The only thing I actually had in reserve was the uh, one black orc big boss, so I got pretty lucky. So anyway, looking at this game, um, I was really surprised to see a dragon. Actually, if you can kind of see it on the other side of the board there, that actually there's two dragons. So whereas you'd think that you wouldn't have to worry about all in this metagame, here they are, and I really have nothing to deal with them. So my plan really was to have my left unit of orcs move up as kind of a bait. He would charge it and kind of like fight them the whole game while I stay steadfast. Meanwhile, I just kind of steamroll up, try and knock out those... Uh, Glade uh, guard guys, and then my savage orcs are on the far side, so that when the tree man and uh, there's another tree kin unit comes in, then they can just kind of go and smash them all. So we'll see how that works out. So what else get first turn? Nothing overly fancy. You can see their BSB came on, the tree kin, the tree man, and uh, also he has a scouting noble that's going to have hail of doom that's on the far right there. Uh, Dragon went off to my one side, they did some shooting into my orcs, and you know, he's going to keep on trying to do some magic, but I, I don't think he got a single spell off the whole game thanks to my spirit totem. So orcs turn one, I have the one unit that fails animosity, so that's not really good because now they're kind of following behind where I need them to be in my bowl for my BSB in general. Uh, on the right side I did fairly well where I had the one chariot charge the eagle, it uh, fled, I then redirected into the scouts over there and they also fled so I mean I didn't catch them obviously but at least I got them pushed back so not just running rampant behind my lines and otherwise I just really moved up I tried doing uh, a little bit of magic but I didn't get anything off this turn either so what else turn two the dragon charges into these guys my RR boys which I thought was a little bit surprising because they're not really a threat whatsoever and then otherwise it looks like this. So Hail of Doom has now gone off. Uh, he rallied there on the top right. Uh, that Hail of Doom took off three or four wounds off the one chariot. So I guess I'm just lucky it's not dead. Uh, he killed a few more Savage Orcs. The Dryads are now there in the, the, the one free forest he had there. And he's really going to set up where he's just kind of waiting for me to come to him. And then once I do, he can kind of flank me with these tough units on either side. And that's the main thing that you have to really worry about this list is that it's kind of a, a bag full of hammers. Everything is kind of, you know, pretty solid on its own. So you have to be kind of a little, little bit worried. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that as long as I can catch these things individually, you know, my war boss and stuff can just go and mess up even the, the tree kin. So I just have to make sure I get in there. And my block work should be good for a long charge too. So works turn two. That's what I do. Uh, the I call my wall. Everything moves up. Unfortunately, this unit on the left did not charge into the tree can there on the left, which is huge because I needed them tied up, but whatever, I failed. Uh, then I also got the savages into the one archers there. I have my big unit with my general into his dryads, and then I also have my black orcs into the tree man, but unfortunately, I in doing this, I was forced to be into the woods, so I should mess them up, but I mean, if I lose combat, obviously I won't be steadfast. So I got Wah off this turn, even with that, you know, that left unit wasn't able to get into combat. 
Uh, I didn't mention it, but of course the dragon beat up the R boys. I had broken and I had fled. I had now rallied, so whatever. I got them there, forcing them to charge me again. But as you see here, I really didn't go my way. Uh, my savages killed a good number of, of those archers, but I still lost way more of mine back. I wasn't able to kill all the dryads. Of course, they're because they're skirmishers, they're stubborn inside the woods, so I got held up there. And even with all my rerolls, because remember I got wall off, so I have always strikes first and rerolling all the hits, I only did one wound to the tree man. And that's mainly because even though I caused six wounds, he made five regents. So that's bad. Uh, I had actually lost, but thanks to you know the charging and all that other stuff, I at least held. His turn three, this is kind of like a little side battle, but anyway, he... He charges at my one with one wound, and of course I flee, and then he redirects into my other chariot. Here's all his charges, so his dragons hit the, the left unit, his treekin hit the side of the savages, so they're screwed, and the other treekin join in against my, my war boss, which is again dangerous because with the stomp and all those strength 5 attacks, if they ever win, I'm not steadfast, so I could easily lose the whole unit. So in the turn, things are looking disastrous. So what happened here is... The dragon beat my one guys. They were actually out of range of my BSB and stuff because of how they're lagging behind. Uh, they broke. They at least got away. But in doing so, they, they panicked the RR boys over. Uh, on the far right, you can see that you know he did a wound to my chair. They did a few wounds back. But I think that actually turned out to be a draw or something, or I lost and I held. But more importantly, you can see that his flanking maneuver on my savage orcs meant that they were wiped out. And then this was devastating. Again, all my attacks against the tree man do nothing because he made every single regen. Uh, his attacks back and stomps did tons. I wasn't steadfast and he ran down the entire unit. So that's 500 points of black orcs plus my level 4 caster gone. So this game is going down the, the crapper really fast. So my turn 3, the RR boys keep running. The one chariot is still fighting him over there. Uh, my orcs rally, which is great, so I can fight the tree men. And then when I'm fighting those guys, uh, the tree kin and the dryads in combat, I beat up some dryads, send off them off running, but uh, the tree kin held because you know they're within range of the the BSB and everything. So what else? Turn four. I got the tree man and the dragon fighting the orcs on the right, and the tree kin flank my general's unit. And after it looks like this. So the Archers went and beat my chariot and they got away. Um, he went and he beat my general's unit, did a tons of wounds to it, and then I broke and got away, but of course my BSB and stuff is dead. And then he did a real hammering to my other unit on the right, but, you know, at least they held because of steadfast. So, Orcs turn four. Uh, my chariot charges into the skirmishers. I do a good amount of damage, but then he kills me with, with that last wound off. So, there's my one chance to actually get some points. Failed. Uh, my general's unit, it rallied. Uh, the other unit got its butt kicked, but at least it still held, and my RR boys rallied. And at this point, we had, you know, kind of like a, a 10 minute warning, 5 minute warning that already happened, you know, on his part of the turn. So, we just called it just because I'd have so much to clean up. So, Really, really a novice win for him. So victory to the Whittles, and really, I think I really deserve to get this loss. First of all, here I am kind of mocking the system that, of course, it's always going to be a draw, and now this was my worst loss ever. Zero victory points is what I scored. You know, there's no reason to do any math, because obviously anything above zero points was going to be a massacre for him. So, wow, worst game ever. Uh, some reasons for it. I wasn't prepared for his dragon. I, uh, you know, didn't have anything to shoot it down. And then after, when it came to combat, I was a little bit overly aggressive, thinking I could fight him out of the trees. And then thanks to that left charge not going off, that just meant that he was able to reinforce it and, you know, take advantage of uh, me overextending myself. And then of course, it actually turned out with the tree man at the top, he never even attended intended for him to be like that so that my black orcs would be in the trees but the way it worked out and with him making some good regens I just got my butt kicked and lost there too so really harsh way to start the tournament but uh, hopefully it gets better for me.